Hello, I'm Devin with R Washers. I'm gonna show you how to assemble a AR pump, five and a half gallons per minute, 3,000 PSI. Uh, made it to a 1690 gearbox. All right, first we need to remove the four mounting screws here. I'm gonna turn it on its side, it's easier to get torqued. So, quick in the process, I'll throw this onto an impact. These screws will be set aside, you won't use them ever again for this build at all. Secondly, these, this is the mounting bag that comes with the pump, and I'm going to set aside the two O-rings. I'm going to find, um, these are bolts that use a 13 millimeter socket. You'll either have brass cop or copper washers or the stainless steel washer with a gasket in it. We prefer the stainless steel with a gasket in it because they don't crush like the brass washers do. A little pre-stage for these guys. After removing the screws, I'm going to apply the small thick gasket around this shoulder here. All right, I'm gonna apply the gasket, around the small gasket around the shoulder, then I'm gonna to come to the 1690 gearbox, grab the face plate, lay on top, then I will put, I'll grab the four mounting bolts, a dab of Loctite on each one. I've pre-dabbed a couple of these, and here's the fourth one. So we don't cross-thread them, I'll start them by hand, and then Impact down with a 13 millimeter socket. Then I'll follow that, that with the thin gasket. Sometimes these are coiled up and they have a memory in them and don't want to lay flat. The little trick is a little bit of oil or you can scrape off the grease that's here and dab it around the o-ring before line and it'll stick to the edge. Next, grab your gear from the 1690. Slide her on. She should slide on no problem. And then we want to make that gear captive. So we're going to cap it. Your screw with the Allen key. This is the, the only small one you have. We're going to apply a small dab of Loctite. Always finger start it so you don't strip it. I'm going to take this and I'll hit it with a quick impact and that's all you need for the gear. That's it. Next, I'm going to apply the main housing gearbox. I like to slide it on like this and then rotate into place. And she's laying, you'll feel it click. Sometimes if the O-ring walks, it won't click. There it is. Now it's sitting flatter on the base plate here. It's going to take your, your, the biggest Allen key uh, bolts you have. Same thing, a little dab. I just pop them into their holes. And then I'll come back and start them by hand and then hit them with the, the impact. And this, starting by hand, is so you do not strip Strip your threads, then you'll end up buying another pump. That's her. On this step is where I like to remove our drain plugs. This is the top one I'm removing. We don't need it up there. I'm going to tighten the bottom one by hand. Remove the sight glass side which is on stock, it comes on this side. We want it on the outside, so both the pump side glass and the gearbox side glass are on the same side. And with these, being that they have an O-ring, they do not need to be extremely tight. The size of the brass plugs are a 17 millimeter wrench, which I will run and grab right now. Had to catch that one. Yeah. All right, guys. So like I said, you don't need to hammer down on it. Just snug, 
It's not snug yet. It's snug now, and I'm going to give it a little extra click. And that's all you need. You got an O-ring in there. You over tighten it, you're going to eat it up. For the sight glass, I take a... You can almost do it by hand, technically. Uh, really, you can get away with it. I apologize. It's actually... My apologies. We used the crescent wrench earlier. I forgot what it was at. All right, now I got a crescent wrench. I'm going to barely... Like I said, you could do this by hand and get away with it, but we're going to not send you away by hand ever. A little bit of snugness, and that's it. If you do too tight, you're going to roll that O-ring out, and it's going to not do its job. Next, we've got the mounting plate, so you can mount this to your engine. Just simply lie it right in there. Lay it in there. And this is the interesting part about these. So having a small, thin, uh, flat head screwdriver, with these bolts, they have a straight slot ground into the, into the end of them. So we're going to start from the bottom, insert on the bottom here. And I'm going to slide this screwdriver in from the bottom side, essentially reversing it. Or you're just upside down, and I'm extracting that, or pulling that bolt up into it just like so. And all I'm doing is starting it. I'm starting the threads because once I start all four, I'm going to come back and add Loctite. And then I'll run them all the way back up. Sometimes you gotta jiggle it to get it to catch. There she is. Last one. That's her. And now I'm just gonna take the Loctite, a little dab down the hatch, that's it, and then I'm going to run them all the way up, this one popped out, <laughs> alright, there we go, let's see how it's running right up there, Okay, they're brought up, but they're not tight enough. So now I'm gonna flip it over. Your kit comes with an Allen key. What I like to do is grab a small wrench, usually uh, my eight, 10 millimeter, but I'm not seeing it right now. And I'll grab, we'll place Allen key on the bolt. And just for extra torque, we'll throw the wrench on the end and give it a clip. That's it. Like so. And that'll be tight enough. And now, all that's left to do, oops, sorry, I have you on the bottom. What I didn't say at the beginning is always add your dipsticks last. If you add your pump stick dipstick first, when you turn it over, you're going to be spilling oil everywhere because it has a breather. It has a breather. Yep. So keep this, make this your last thing. Most of the time here in shop, all I do is when I build them, I snap both them onto here. And when I connect it to the motor, after it's bolted to the motor is when I will pull the plug and drop in the dipsticks and service the gearbox with the 40 weight oil. And that's a uh, built pump for you. All right, thank you. This is Devin with our washers at washmart.com. This is the guy who's building the majority of our power washers while Fred is building very unique pieces of equipment back there. Thank you for joining us today, Devin. No problem. This is also Marco with our washers at washmart.com, your Houston pressure washer store. And thank you for watching the video.